Hey guys, welcome to Claydesk. Today I'm going to talk about jobs of the future in 2021 that will be in high demand in 2021. The thing is, what is happening right now that human labor is being replaced by machines. And according to Future of Jobs Survey 2020, 85 million or so jobs will be displaced because of this machine or artificial intelligence. But at the same time, 97 would more emerge, new jobs, right? So if you were thinking, what should I study? you're at a stage of your life where you're thinking of shifting careers, for example, this video is super important because you can watch it till the end and really understand the trends of the market and the jobs that are available and that are predicted to be in high demand by the World Economic Forum. So if you're interested, please continue, subscribe, and before I move forward, make sure you hit the bell notification. So that you understand and watch this video till the end. So profession number one is data analytics or data scientist. So what do these people do? For example, imagine there's a company that produces some television sets and there's so many data points that the company is collecting, how many TVs are sold, how many consumers use, how many commercial televisions are being sold throughout the world. So you, to analyze the data, you need a professional, not somebody just to run some simple statistics but actually analyze the data and then run algorithms or create algorithms, okay? So you would really understand what data scientists and data analytics do and how to analyze data and predict data as well. So salary for these individuals for average experience is six figures, so $120,000, $130,000 a year to start with, right? And with experience, it goes up to 200 k so you need to learn, of course, applied mathematics, computational or statistics, right? The next profession I'm going to talk about is AI, artificial intelligence or machine learning. It's everywhere these days, right? So the Instagram feeds, for example, or Facebook feeds are all based on artificial intelligence or the actual al algorithm that people are actually following, right? The photos you like, for example, are all being recorded and the algorithm is picking that up. So you need a specialist that can create those algorithms, right? So the salary for AI ML is, again, $150,000 a year to start with. And age does not matter, and you don't need a bachelor's degree as well in most instances. So the average salaries in the U.S., for example, are once again 150 to 200 k if you have the requisite knowledge, right? But if you have higher degrees like master's degrees or bachelor's degrees, it's even better. Okay, so I talked about data scientists and the machine learning and AI categories, which will be in high demand. And as well, in, even in 2020, they were in high demand and moving forward in 2021, more and more individuals will be needed. Okay, and I talked about the salary as well, right? So this is high paying jobs. Of course, you need some time, you need maybe six months to eight months to understand and learn AI and machine learning. And after you spend that time and maybe have a couple of certifications under your belt, and I'm gonna put a description, a link in the description below where you can check out different certifications that kind of tally with your requisite knowledge and experience as you work within this sector. So we talked about data scientists, data analytics, and we also talked about the second type of emerging high paying careers is machine learning and artificial intelligence. Now the third that I want to focus on is the cloud computing itself, maybe AWS or Microsoft Azure. Now these are once again platforms that allow you to manage the entire infrastructure for an enterprise organization. So for example if you're AWS certified, maybe a certified solutions architect or a certified solutions developer associate or maybe a DevOps engineer. And we'll talk about DevOps a little later on as well. So these are also high paying jobs in cloud computing industry or the actual workings and enterprise companies are looking for these individuals. The salary, for example, uh, of an AWS certified solutions architect or a DevOps engineer is once again ranges from $120,000 a year all the way up to 200K depending on the experience. So if you have an entry level uh, candidate, I have several students who ask me, well, if I end up doing a certification or have the experience, how much experience do I need? So you need about 
let's say, two to three years of solid hands-on enterprise level experience with working with different tools, not just the AWS, but also working with tools such as Jira, such as Jenkins, for example, uh, building pipelines, and maybe some other tools like Git, GitHub, a little bit of Python fundamentals. If you're not a programmer, that's not really required to be a heavy duty coder, but just understand the basic concepts of object oriented programming and how to create small scripts, maybe bash scripting. So these are all the tools that are required if you're looking to jump into the cloud computing and have AWS or Microsoft Azure background, okay? So quick recap, we talked about the emerging fields such as the artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analytics, data scientists, and of course, cloud computing and getting into the enterprise architecture design. The fourth that I want to talk about emerging trends is actually becoming a developer, okay? Because more and more apps as we grow, they're coming up and enterprise companies are actually using apps to conduct most of their businesses, whether it's for their internal employees or for building apps for customers. So you need to be able to understand the field of actual being or becoming a developer, right? Or a coder. But that's again, that's something that whether you have the aptitude or not, you can jump into that. And salaries for these individuals, for programmers and developers are also within the range of uh, 120,000 all the way up to 200,000. And again, with a couple of years of experience and depending on how efficiently you actually code and you work with, okay? So once again, the relevant certifications for a developer, again, you can be a Java developer, for example, or you can do Java scripting or you can do Python and there's so many out there, okay? So once you become a developer in one platform, whether it's Java or Python, I'm gonna put some links on the description below. You can take a check out some courses or free tutorials so you can really understand which way to go. I would recommend Python because that's the easiest language that you can get into and work with. And enterprise companies are actually looking for these skills, okay? And Python really helps whether you're working within the AWS ecosystem or the Microsoft Azure. This is a language, programming language, that helps quite a bit, especially in scripting, building small Python scripts, bring some small automation, maybe in QA or quality assurance testing, Python is helpful. So I would recommend as a new individual to jump into and get your hands dirty with Python programming language. All right, great. So again, I talked about the salary for developers as well, and the relevant uh, certification for these is, uh, for example, in AWS, you can become a developer associate, a certified developer associate. Um, so these are, again, a high paying career in 20, moving forward in 2021. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is process automation, okay? Uh, and this is very important because as companies progress, as they grow more, they wanna be able to automate their existing processes. How do you automate? You can get into uh, maybe RPA or robotic process automation or just becoming efficient such as maybe a DevOps engineer, you're handling the operation side versus, as well as the developers as well. And you are the bridge between the two. So DevOps really is another emerging and popular growing field where companies are now creating more and more positions for DevOps engineers. And believe it or not, very shortage. There's high demand for these individuals, but you can't really find a skilled DevOps engineer. So again, I'm gonna put some links on the bottom description where you can read more about what DevOps field is and how to get into it and various career paths that you can actually analyze and work with. So DevOps, as a DevOps engineer, the salaries for these individuals, once again, 120,000 to 200,000 or even higher, depending on the experience. But entry level is definitely about you know 90K or even six figures, even if you have maybe a couple of years of experience. So the rest of the salary, the, the upcoming and the future trends, the next one is the maybe a computer support specialist, right? So that's a little bit low end, but it's very much in demand because that's something that companies are also looking for to manage their infrastructure and maybe do some customer support specialist and then grow that way as well. So, and this is a probably a good point for an entry level individuals who want to switch careers and get into the IT field. 
you want to be able to start somewhere, right? So this is a, a good step where you need courses like IT network essentials, maybe IP addressing and networking, understanding the hardware itself. And the relevant certifications are maybe A plus certifications you can get under your belt. That's a good start. And then later on, jump into the enterprise arena. So I wanted to talk about the upcoming, um, the growth, the salaries, the projected careers in 2021. So if you're motivated enough and you want to be able to either grow your skills into the IT field or change careers, this is the best time okay, for you. So don't be afraid. Check out all the links that I have posted in the description below. We will find several resources. You can download them, read through it. And of course, any questions, make sure you comment. So I'll be happy to answer all of your questions and, and various queries that you have, whether you're entering into this field or just changing careers. Okay, so I hope this helps. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for regular course updates. In 2021, I'm going to be putting up several new courses as we move forward, which will help you grow your career or enhance your existing skill set. With this, I'll see you guys later.